Hi guys, thanks for tuning in and welcome back. I want to thank you guys, um, or those of you that have been checking in on me. I'm still around, I'm just in the process of moving and it's just been absolutely crazy. So here we go, I got this in the mail which is why I am able to swatch it. It's from AliExpress as the title says and these look absolutely adorable. I'm just cleaning it with pure acetone. I'm trying not to blind you, but I didn't do a very good job there. And I'm going to use um, Girly Bits White Wedding. These Bundle Monster, Bundle Monster Stampers, which I have not primed. So first I'm going to try them out and see how they do without priming. And that was pretty good. It was my scraping job because the scraper hit my tripod. So I tried to do it again. And I moved it as you can see. So that was a pretty awesome pickup. And I just need to work a little faster. <clears throat> Excuse me, if I wanna do that. Sorry, my allergies are pretty bad. Or I could have cheated and put on a sticky base, but I did not. Because I really wanted to test out these stamping plates. So the two that I was able to successfully clean up, I mean pick up, came out beautifully. So these hearts are so different from what I've seen around and so adorable. I really recommend this plate. I mean, if they're coming out like that, imagine how much more pretty are. they would come out if I had um, primed that stamper. I mean, look at how cute that is. And if my uh, English or grammar isn't very good, it's because if you guys didn't already know, I'm ESL. So I tend to say things backwards sometimes and all that jazz but anyway that was super cute I have a feeling I'm gonna be saying super this one's gonna be one of my favorites I can already tell heart with a music note in the center I mean come on you guys this plate is it's just got everything <laughs> and that one too is gonna be my favorite like the heart with the little devil's uh tail and horns I mean it does have a little bit of everything so yeah again if I had primed the stamper I'm sure that would have came out crisp but that's still not bad I mean I kind of squished it a little hard so and that one came out perfect with no priming of that stamper. And actually, look at how funny that came out. I didn't mean for that to come out looking like that, but that came out pretty neat, like that design when I double stamped it. And that one came out okay. But they're picking, picking up beautifully. Not sure what that is. Oh, hands. Okay. I thought it was a flame at first. But that little warping there was my pickup. It's very difficult to film and do, you know, swatching at the same time. Plus, I'm doing it with a pointing shoot, so it's looking down. I don't have a viewfinder. Here is the next plate, and <laughs> this is also absolutely adorable. I recommend that you guys hold on your plate as you're taking off the film because these don't have a backing, and I just recommend that period. You just want to take care of your plate, and these look very beautifully etched. The back of the plate I forgot to show you guys is... um 
is metal. It's the same thing, just not obviously with the designs. And see how well that's picking up? So pretty. That's the hand with the heart. And like a little bubble. I don't know, bubble words? How cute is that splatter? Yeah, I waited too long for that one, so a little bit dried up on the stamper, but that's okay. See how cute those are? There's just so many cute things I was having a hard time trying to figure out what to do next. But this one is adorable, and I like it because, you know, it's it's kind of up to interpretation. That could be coffee, that could be tea. I'm more of a tea drinker, so... And that little Cupid, how cute is that little Cupid guy? I think it's a Cupid guy. How cute! Oh, he's so adorable. That's the key to my heart, I guess. You could interpret that as... Yeah, my uh, allergies are pretty bad. I ran out of allergy medicine today, so I'm going to have to head over to Walgreens sometime today. So many things to choose from. I'm like, ah, what to do next? So that flower is pretty cute. Cupid's arrow. I wasn't sure which way to look because again I'm doing everything upside down. Um, that one, if you look at the um, beginning, it's not really carved well. So I guess it's supposed to look like that. But the other one, this one here, looks much better. That one, you can definitely see that's supposed to look like a heart. And that one, very, very finely detailed. So, this is where I start to realize that I need to prime my stamper. Or use a better stamper. Well, no, a prime stamper. Yeah, see? So here I go with Mamoyu London. That has been primed. You can't see it, but the point was to pick up the image. And look at how beautiful that image is. So there I go, priming it. And I'm priming it with pure acetone and trying to remove the shine and I primed the white one off camera so I didn't bore you guys too much to death I know I get a lot of questions it's like how do you prime your stamper so I figured I'd do it look at that now wasn't that adorable picks up so much better and look at the detailing on the hearts I will try to add um, pictures towards the end of the ones that I swatched. Yeah, there you go. Super pretty. Now moving on to this other um, plate. This is going to be interesting because this one is not as um there are more fine lines so we're going to see how this one is going to behave and i always cleaning uh, clean it off with pure acetone My cam camera focus was giving me issues. So that's cute. 
with the little bug you can put it across four nails oh yeah so sorry guys I um got a phone call there so let's keep going um there's some pieces missing there at least from the bird so I decided to switch over to girly bits his little black dress and the um creative shop stamper so that's much better you can see the top of the head of the bird And I also like it because it's so much bigger and I can cover more of it or get more of it. But I didn't like how that flower came out, so I tried it again. And I figured I'd go in with the... Yeah, see, I just... I wasn't feeling that. So I figured I'd go in this time around with the Moyu Stamper. And that picked up much better. See how I got all the fine lines? And there's the swatch. And I'm still learning to use these swatch sticks and stuff, so. So look at how cute that little heart is. I messed that up. I warped it because of the pickup. And I figured I'd get the flowers at the bottom. And some more hearts, I think those are. They don't look like flowers. And I forgot I had previously stamped on that swatch stick, so, but that's okay. You could still see it because it was black. Now, look at how pretty this is. It came out really pretty. I was trying to figure out how to pick it up. So it's like a grapevine in the shape of a heart. I was trying to get those words up there. Very pretty. And those are some hugging dogs. Yeah, they're dogs. So I tried it again to do it on the swatch stick. Look at how cute those puppies are. And you can always, you know, do the shrinking method. And that came out really cute. I was trying to test out the uh, fine detail. So you can definitely read it. And look at the cute little, I don't know what those are. Geese? Geese? Oh, they're kissing. So we're coming towards the end here. I missed the beak there, so what I decided to do was on the swatch stick, make it look like, you know, the beak was missing on purpose. And that heart actually does look like that. So here's the last image that I um, swatched. I hope you guys like this and definitely don't forget to watch part two. I hope this helps some of you guys and I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye!